Okay, so now I got the dovetails done. This is the tail portion. Now we'll be doing the pin portion. To get the markings, we need to draw it out on the pin side of the piece, like so. Which we'll do in a moment. So our pieces are only flat on one of the sides. So we'll be using the flat side on the inside on your blanks or, or the cut list that we see, both sides are flat so no issues with that. it's secure line this up you want to make sure that there's no gaps yes be flush it's quite hard to see with the shadow being cursed get something to prop it up make sure it's kind of like 90 degrees So line up the sides here, so for the other side. Line up the gap here. Flush to the fingers. Use a pencil, as slender the cone as possible, so you can reach deeper in. Try to mark out it, the inside line of it. So from here on, just follow the lines and just make it look better. So kind of like that. Now we'll project the lines down. We need to take note of the thickness that we are dealing with. So there's only uh, two thickness on this board. Then mark it out. So, on the square each. So, in the case that if you have a marking gauge, you can use marking gauge as well. That will be way more accurate. Way works as well. Just trying to get the thickness. Then we mirror everything. 
So after you do whole circle, whole perimeter, now you can project down the lines here. So just bring it a bit from the edge. Check down the lines. So like this. Now we can start sewing. So this is what we want, the pins. This is what we don't want. And yeah. Okay. So marking of the pin which is the one on the inside for the pin board so we want to make sure that this portion here as you can see from here there should be no gap when you line it up make sure the line here coincides if you do it this line this edge here and the line here. Try to use a pencil with a very very slender cone so they can reach all the way in. So this time around it's quite important to take note of whether you're cutting on which side of the line. So right now when we're drawing on this thing like this try to reach the deepest part so after you mark out the lines you look somehow like this partial then the trees then force the ruler So when we draw the line, right? This time around, when we draw this, this is what we don't want, what we want, what we want, what we don't want. Don't want. We want to saw on the waist side of the line instead of here. So if we happen to saw on the wrong side or right on the line, it will tend out tend to end up being too loose. So now we will 
transfer the lines down like so Same for the other side. Now we can start saw sawing. We saw on the outside of the line. Just line up first. Okay, so now we have sawn all the three pins. Now we need to take out this chunk over here. So I was here. So this is what I mean by sawing outside of the pencil line. You still can see a bit of pencil line around here. So if you have a, li a little bit of excess, it's fine. We'll just pair it off later. Start first by tapping out the line carefully, like tap. Sides here can be sawn. Let's get it sawn first. There's one side. Oh, no. Yes. 
so. Same thing. Basically, it's a beast, so. that tiny bit more the trim same for here step the other side as well So now we need a backstop. Pass. pair very lightly to the line so that will be on 94 so now we do the same by early on Maybe pairing first. Don't go to the line yet, somewhere beyond. Now we continue pairing. So now the other side. Okay, 
Okay, new orientation. This time round, it's right against the wall, so it should be easier to push on. More power, faster. This much is still quite a lot, so we need to half it down to half a mil. Then we can start to go around a lot. Let's go on the line for here. Go down straight for the first stroke, then you can do a slight undercut. So now tilt it a little undercut. So you want the line to be clean. the whole chunk out. Now we just need to clean the stuff in the middle. So before we start pairing we will make sure that try to get as much visible stuff to the naked eye flat first before we start to pair else it's a lot of effort. Let's clear out the stuff first. So regardless of dovetails or mortise and tenon, we want to work from both sides towards the middle. So the middle portion, if it's dead flat with respect to both sides of the lines, that will of course be the best case. But we as mere mortals, getting a bit of recess here, will be way easier and faster so long it's not a convex surface here if there's convex here with a small harm and stuff you interfere with the feet so your stuff will never go in properly so right now we're trying to clear all the junk so the entry here which is right on the line you can pull chisel against that surface. Right now we want to register the back of the chisel, back of the chisel here, against the side of the wall, like so. Make sure it's flat. At least for this portion, it's going to be flat and straight. 
then we drive it down line it up maintain tension by pulling with these two fingers and drive So the same for the other side. So that's when we bulked out most of it. So if it's clear, when you lay your chisel across the surface, it should be resting only on this edge as well as this edge so there should, no, there should be no high spots in between so right now at this stage we can start pairing pairing there are two styles first one you can do it a bit like so just hold your chisel as such. Let me zoom out. And we go as you go down. So instead of pushing the street down, try to keep it down easier. Because when we push down too hard, sometimes we'll overshoot and we'll slice beyond and hit the walls below. So if you slice into this wall, then there's no more reference on the other side. So now we can start to pair the other side. So I'll now show you another way to pair. So another way to pair will be this way. Your entrance is... Try to keep it too horizontal. Your entrance is kind of flat, so you are just pushing away. So in order to prevent yourself from overshooting, you are using this finger as a brick. Same thing, try and wiggle, a slice. pushing straight so to clean the corners you'll be using the corner of the chisel just dig around, scrape around from both directions. So one here, the other one over here. So for areas like such there's still a tiny bit of excess around here so I can take a hair trim of the excess is beyond the pencil line and I'll stop right there for now so we go in this manner and just push down Straight. 
So once you're down, just increase your pride five as well. So now we'll check for flatness. Okay, so how to check for flatness? Let's say both sides around the line. Lay your back of the chisel which should be pretty flat across both peaks. So our case, so long we have a mild bit of recess, mild bit of concave, they'll be fine. So it should be like this throughout the whole surface. So of course the best case scenario is when you get it fully flat. But they'll take a lot of effort.